across my legs. Is this is the divine feminine reading? Okay, cross my legs. You look, look, I see my little white dress. Let me see, back it up. I did give you something from um, Juice It Up, and so I have a little green, some little green drippings right here. If y'all noticed that, y'all probably won't though. Yeah, I wear my little pure little white dress for you guys for the reading. This is for the divine feminine, but like I said in the divine masculine reading, you guys. There could be uh, bits and pieces of reading that will resonate for just like when I did the masculine, there'll be bits and pieces that resonate for the feminine. And so doing the divine feminine reading, there's going to be bits and pieces that resonate for the masculine because, you know, we, we have both. We have masculine and we have feminine energies. OK. Hi, Mama B. Thank you for liking the video. So. Okay, so we're going to do messages. What do we need to know? Whatever information, yes. Whatever information the divine feminine needs to know. Okay. Oh, I hope you feel better. Um, Drink some water. Drink some hot tea as hot as you can take it. And if you have a heating pad, you know, kind of put it up under you, like under your pillows. If you're like me, you have like plump pillows, but like pop, try to put them up under you. Um. I feel like you get, do you get cramps like in your upper part of your stomach, mama bee? Um, and massage too, massage your, your womb, okay? All right, so let's get into it. Girl, I said the same thing, mama bee. I said, I'm looking forward to uh, menopause because I have things going on with my womb space. I'm healing through um, upper stomach, yeah. Oh, okay, side and back pain, yeah. Put a heating pad. Hi, Yonda. I got to do a video talking about like womb invasions, i.e. fibroids, endometriosis, just cramps, PCOS, because a lot of women, we have heavy, heavy menstrual cycles. We go through severe pain when it comes to our cycles. And you know, that's not natural, y'all. Your, your cycles are not supposed to be heavy and they're not supposed to be painful. It's the way we eat and we treat ourselves and just different other things that spiritual that cause us to have painful and uncomfortable and heavy cycles. But trust me, that's not what we're supposed to be going through. So I'm going to talk about that. I know I'll be saying stuff and I really forget you. I got to I got to write this down, but I'm going to talk about this because I'm healing through a lot of different things myself. Yeah, it's not supposed to be like that. Mm -mm, hell no. It's only supposed to be like two or three days. I don't even think it's supposed to be three days. What's her name? Queen of Fua? A Fu? I, I do not want to. She's a, a, um, a goddess, but her name, Queen A-F-U-A. -A. But she talks about that. Um, yeah, but the, if, you, if you go, let me just say this, and then I'm going to get into the reading. If you eat, put implement more greens into your diet, drink more water, control your stress levels, your anger, all of that, you'll see a difference in your cycle. But like I said, it's the way we eat. It's the way we eat. The, the things that we put in our bodies that make our cycles heavy. Because they're not supposed to be like that. When I talk, I let my mouth get dry. So I'm going to keep my water right there so I can just grab it. All right, let's get into the reading. We'll talk about that in another live. All right, let's get to the reading. So these are going to be messages, like I said, like the title says, for the divine feminine. But like I said, in the divine masculine messages there are going to be aspects that resonate for both because we all have feminine and uh and masculine energy it's just you know we have to work on uh mastering it uh, we have to master master sorry y'all um getting our energies the, the male and feminine aspects of ourselves masculine feminine rather uh we have to master getting it balanced but anyway this part if I, There's a lot of changes and transformation that's going on with a lot of us, with all of us, period. All right. What are the messages? Get, please, Spirit, can I have one card? <laughs> I'll be getting more for y'all. One, one card. Oh, thank you. Thank you so very much. All right. So we have boundaries. 
instantly people are going to think like boundaries. I need to have boundaries with people, but boundaries can't be effectively placed until we place them within ourselves. So what are the boundaries? What are the things that we need to work on within ourselves? What are the boundaries that need we need to place um, on our own lives and our own personal development for some of us? Okay, let's see what the messages are. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, hold on. Okay, so let's read. Boundaries. Get to the point and draw the line. Althane, Althane, I'm sorry, appears as a warning sign. Attention claim. Now cut those ties. Focus return. Now you shall rise. This magic is work with harm to none. So mote it be, there is, there it is done. Claiming back our, um, our own energy. Because for a long time, some of us has been, have been sharing energy with other people, other inter- entities, um, allowing people to pull us into their sphere. Your intentions have been rather hazy of late, no, um, nor are you giving the right signals about who and what you are standing in your power, divine feminine. In fact, do you actually even know who you are at this very moment? It is time to finally focus and get to the point. You cannot expect to be taken seriously if you have not set your boundaries. For by not doing so, you will find that others cross the line by taking advantage of you, not respecting either your space or you. Your natural energy is being drained, drawing your attention unnecessarily to others instead of what is really important. Athame um, offers to cut ties with those who no longer serve your highest purpose. This doesn't necessarily mean that you will um, wait a minute, what? banish these people from your life, only that you won't be taking on their energetic demands, which are drawing you away from your true purpose. Mentally, ask the power of Athame to cut these cords in perfect love and perfect trust uh, and your vitality and focus will return. You are being diverted from your path. Focus on what is truly important. Honor your beliefs and yourself. Don't give into the superficial demand of others. Set clear boundaries. This is the thing. Let me talk about boundaries real fast. In the beginning, when you're establishing boundaries within yourself, that's going to be the easy stuff. I mean, for those who have the strong intentions of becoming better versions of ourselves, that's easy. Setting intentions, what can become a little challenging is setting boundaries with people in certain relationships because people are conditioned, people are conditioned to, that's my sister, that's my brother, that's my father, that's my dad, that's my kid's father, that's my my friend. Instead of looking at, how, how does somebody make you feel? You see what I'm saying? It's And this also comes with the energy of, oh, ignore this. This comes with the energy of not knowing when to appropriately get, because, okay, say somebody, and I just went through this today. Say somebody upsets you, makes you, they're wrong. They're 100% wrong, right? They want to attack you. They want to make you feel some type of way. And you give your energy to that person. That's you lacking boundaries within yourself. That's which that's you not implementing the boundaries, healthy boundaries in your relationships. Nobody is is should be able to come into your sphere, come into your life, be a part of your life, and say you should be this way or you should um, engage with me in this in this sort of way. No, nobody should be able to do that. You dictate how people come in your life, how you deal with them how they communicate. You you dictate that, not them, you know? And it's a way you can set boundaries without exerting energy. That's what some of my ancestors are trying to show me right now, okay? You don't have to be like all oh, love and light and be like, oh, it's okay, just pray for them. But it's a way that you don't have to come off your um, your throne, you get it? To come for people. You know, not necessarily come for people, but to address situations and certain people. You don't have to come off. You don't have to exert no energy. 
I don't care who it is. And especially when it comes to family, because those are the ones that we hold dear to our hearts and we tend to make excuses for, and we overlook certain behaviors, very toxic behaviors. That's, you know, but anyways, let's move on you guys. Cause y'all know I can get some rambling. All right. Not necessarily rambling, but you know, so it's not rambling, but anyways, what is the messages for the divine feminine? Divine feminine, what do we need to know? What does the divine feminine need to know? What in the hell did I just do? Okay. What does the divine feminine need to know? Trusting ourselves, trusting our guts, trusting ourselves. We are becoming high priestesses. A lot of you guys are leveling up spiritually. You already have, like I spoke, I've talked about before, how women innately have um, uh, intuition. But a lot of you guys are leveling up. You need to trust your intuition. Trust it. Trust it. What are the messages for the divine feminine? Don't let nobody talk you off of who you are. You know what I'm saying? Coming to the edge in reverse. Yeah, it's like not feeling on edge for some of us as much as we used to, like relaxing a little bit, like taking deep breaths, doing breath work for some of us. This is giving me the energy right here. And then I got my black tourmaline right here. This is giving me the energy that some of us need to um, ground ourselves more, center ourselves, even carry our black tourmaline with us more. Because there may be some trigger, triggering situations or circumstances that some of us may have to deal with in the near future. Okay. What is the message for the divine feminine? Messages. What do we need to know? Okay, thank you. Here and now, focus on the here and now. Balance. There's be um, yin. Yeah, your feminine uh, your feminine energy is balancing out. It's leveling out for a lot of you guys here and now. This is what's happening right now. This is the change that's happening. This is the balance. This is our feminine energy, our feminine wisdom, our divine feminine wisdom that's coming more into alignment for us. And like I just said, remember, I just mentioned about the breath work, breathing, taking deep breaths, inhaling that positive energy, that positive chi, and then blowing out all that negative stuff, blowing out all the all the negative energy that does not serve us. You know what I mean? This is a lot of healing energy that's going on for a lot of us. Yin. Yeah, this is the feminine energy that's balancing out for a lot of us. Let's see. What is the messages for the divine feminine? Messages for the divine feminine. Feminine. We balance and we're becoming more feminine for some of us. Some of us were operating more so in our masculine energy. And you know what? This is kind of like something for some of us that developed when we were younger, like a defensiveness. Like maybe you always had people saying things to you or trying to get a rise out of you or being passive aggressive with you. And so, and then so over the years, over the time, you develop this energy where you were always on the defense. You were always ready to defend yourself because of the way people treated you, because you didn't have boundaries within yourself. You weren't taught that as a child to have boundaries within yourself. So now we're moving into this energy with the yin. That's feminine energy, babies. Our feminine energy is balancing out. We're recognizing our worth. We're seeing who we are. It's giving, up a, giving us a leg up and advantage in our lives to be in this energy. It's almost like, you know, like if somebody tries you or, you know, tries to fuck with you or tries to say something about you and you're just looking at, like my dad used to say, you know, look at the big picture and just look at this person and be like, well, you know, I got to consider the source. Something my dad used to say it to me as well. Consider the source, Kim. Consider where this information is coming from. Consider who this person is. Consider what this person has done before you instantly jump to taking things personal. This is where that feminine wisdom is coming into play. This is what we're naturally wise. We're naturally um, intuitive. We're natural. And a lot of, like I said, a lot of us are leveling up into that high priestess role. That's why I got my white on. Okay. I got my little white dress on, you know, I'm just saying. So yeah, we're leveling up and, you know, we're embracing that feminine energy. Some of us may even look start looking a little different 
you know, if you guys want to do, you know, wear a little, wear more white. I've been wearing white for the last couple of days, you know. Um, some of you guys needing to do that. Uh, okay. All right. What is the messages for the divine feminine? The divine feminine. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting soulmates. Ooh, soulmates. I'm thinking of you. For 41 breaking down to a five. Five is change. I'm thinking of you. I love you. Some, some of you guys. Oh, this is the, um, this, this is it. I mean, like some of you guys, not all of you guys, some of you guys um, are going to have a breakthrough with a soulmate. Let's just say that. This does not have to be a soul, um, a soulmate. Okay, this is not to be a twin flame, soulmates, or anyone. Soulmates can be anyone, but this does feel like romantic love. I will say this, and this may or may not be the person that you're thinking of. This could be anybody, but there's a breakthrough. But this is a, this breakthrough kind of comes divine feminine after you establish and stand in your in your feminine strength and establishing the proper boundaries within yourself then you will see this major shift in this whatever this is for you okay what is the messages for the divine fem okay that's it loyal heart yeah heart your heart is loyal your heart is loyal peace this is a lot of peace that's being brought to you another five that's five 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 major change this is you guys. This is major change breaking through. This is a lot of breakthroughs coming through, like major things that's going on in your lives for a lot of you guys. Big major shifts that's coming in. And because you're doing the work in here, you know, it starts on the other side. Tangibly, it's going to come through where there's going to be some big shit when it comes to this shit. And I'm talking about this soulmate, this love. We're going to see though. All right. You don't feel on edge as much as anymore. You're letting that chip off your shoulder. What is the messages for the divine feminine? Yep. Here we go. What I say? What did I say? Ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. And it's here and it's coming and it's waiting and it's been waiting and it's been waiting and it's Okay, Divine Feminine, are you doing the work? No, not yet. Okay, we'll come back. That's the energy. Oh, Divine Feminine, you ready? No, you ain't ready. You know, it's that type of energy. You ready now? Some of you guys are really shifting. You're moving. You're moving. Some of you guys may be moving. Who knows? It's the shift that's going on. Uh, to a townhouse I'm hearing. What is the shift? We have deep emotional healing. This is what's going on or this is what's needed. Let me take a sip of my water. My mouth is dry. Why is my mouth so dry? A deep emotional cleanse, purging in your heart space for some of you guys. Listening to your heart. Listening, listening to your intuition. Stop getting tricked. Stop allowing people to do this to you. Stop allowing people to piss you off. Stop allowing people to come. And these people are a lot of times the people that we I'm not even gonna go there because that's gonna go somewhere else. I'm not going there. Divine intervention is coming through for you guys. This is um for some of you guys, this is a grandfather on the other side who wants it all for you. This is not an ancestor. Screw that. That's is this is an ascended master. This may not be a grandfather, but he's giving me grandfather vibes. But this is a, a spare guy for some of you guys who is guiding you on your way. You know, I don't, I'm not going because I don't know. But this is a spirit guy, you guys. Okay. Yep. Grandfather's energy. Giving you the tools that you need to fix and, um, Attain your great like what this whoever this is, they want you to have it all. You gotta listen to their guidance, okay? Be still, be still. When you're still, that's when you get those divine messages, you guys. When you're still, you get those divine messages. All right, what are the messages for the ooh? What are the messages for the divine uh, feminine? Oh, again, divine feminine. 
Oh, wasn't coming, it's coming. Just don't focus on the nine. Divine feminine, it's coming. All right. What's the messages for the divine feminine? What does a divine feminine need to know? What does a divine feminine need to know? What are the messages? Ooh, high priestess didn't come out completely straight. But this is that energy of what I was talking about, intuition. You are leveling up. The high priestess, remember I told you, you guys are moving towards the high priestess stage. We're moving in that energy. It's here for us. What's this? Oh, the Ten of Wands. Mm, some of you got, oh, it's got a lot on your plate, some of you guys. What are the messages? And this is a burden. What is the messages? Some of you guys, you feel burdened by the downloads, whatever information that is coming in for you, whether this is what your spirit team wants you to do. It could be some things that they want you to do or um, some things that you don't see that you can... Um, I don't know. It could be a cycle for some of you guys. Let me see. What is the uh, messages for the divine feminine? The four wands. Yeah, this has to do with a home. We got, oh, the empress. The empress and the judgment. Oh, wow. And we got, yep, here we go. The full card. This is Aries energy, but this is taking a leap of faith. This is moving. This is trusting. This is blind faith. This is allowing. This is surrendering. This is going. Seven of Cups, but then right in the backdrop, even though you're here, you're moving, you're moving, but you still got this little bit of confusion that's right there. Some of you guys could have to do with a water sign or Aries. This is a, um, this could come up. That's not slow. It's not slow. It's just paced energy, like a, a certain paced energy. Clarify this, High Priestess. High Priestess. What's this High Priestess card meaning? What's this High Priestess? Ooh, that was a will of fortune, but it flipped back over. High priestess. Ooh, the, okay, here we go. We got the page of swords. It's not, it's, it's not completely being in alignment for some of you guys. Oh, okay. So for some, okay, it's not being in alignment because you, you're you're this high priestess. You're at this place, remember, and you're at this place of being a high priestess, but remember the card kind of came up sideways. So this is why that page is there, because the page is unsure. The page know how to um, uh, speak as well, but this is also a person who wants to come towards you, but this is how they know you are. They know you're on this level and this is them They uh, with, with their guard up, but they're ready to surrender. They're ready to speak their peace. They're ready to come towards you for some of you guys. Uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy doesn't have to be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, but that's what the, yeah. clarify this 10 of wands, 10 of wands, please. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. What is the Ten of Wands here for? Ten of Wands. Ooh. Somebody is burdened by a tower moment, by something that needs to come to an end. That something is, is falling out of your life. It's literally being swept up by the tides. Some of you guys, this has to do with your old ways. This has to do with some, I'm hearing deceit as well, um, or somebody who is deceitful. So this is a need for this person to be completely, if this resonates for you, there's a need for somebody. You need to let this tower moment happen. Some of you guys, there you feel a tower moment energetically happening. You don't know what it is. You don't know, but you feel. Clarif, give me one more clarifier for the Ten of Wands and the Tower card. Oh, this is a lot of air energy. Yeah, somebody's dealing with an air sign. We got the um, Temperance card, the Ace of Swords, and the King of Swords. Because for some of you guys, this is what's trying to come into your life right now. It could be another person. You're balancing out. You're moving into this victorious energy. And you're and you're here. This is boundaries right here. The King of Swords represents boundaries. King of Swords, the Queen. Hi, Jasmine. Peace to you, baby. Peace, peace. Peace to you, goddess. Peace. The King of Swords represents uh, boundaries, represents um analyzing things um, from a high perspective for some of you guys. The Ace of Swords is major clarity for some. That This clarity comes in when it, in regards to this tower moment for some of you guys. Realizing what's what and what needs to happen because you found your inner balance if this resonates for you. Some of you guys, this is not here yet for y'all. Okay, I'm just being honest. But some of you guys, it's here. 
It's it's like on the brink. You feel like I said for some of you guys, you feel this. Let me see if I see this another way. Searching for advice, searching for um damn, I don't want to say that, man. Somebody might lose something or fear they may lose something that's important to them. And that is what the burden is, whether this is somebody or something. Somebody is uh, feeling like that. OK, let me see. What is the message is like looking for something and they can't find it? Like, where is it? I can't find it. That type of energy. Clarify this four of wands. Clarify this four of wands, please. Four one, four ones. Somebody could feel like they're oh, somebody feels like they're losing you. Somebody feels like they're losing you. Four ones, please. Because you're not the same person. Sheesh, the six of pentacles. Giving and receiving four ones. Oh, look at this, y'all. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, I love that. Um financially being um better off. The four wands, home space, pinnacles, blessings coming in when it comes to your home, a turnaround in your home space. Clarify this four wands and the six of pinnacles again. The three of cups in reverse. Hmm, what is this? Somebody could be giving to another situation. Leo, oh, because we got Leo, Aries, Sag, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, um, not Aquarius, Taurus, um, Capricorn, Virgo. Clarify this Empress card. This Empress is standing her power no matter what come with May. Somebody's going to find out some information, but this is going to put them in their power. It doesn't matter what it is. Empress, please. Empress is very fertile. Somebody could be finding out they're pregnant or this is my, oh. Okay. So we have the Empress card and I wanted to clarify that we got the Emperor. The Emperor and the Empress are the counterparts, but this is a big deal. This is big, 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 big deal. This is a mother and this is a father. But this card kind of came out like this. This person is in their power. This one is not. They're like hanging, they're drifting, they're coming, they're finicky, they're flaky, that type of energy. This is also the energy of somebody's, um, like I said, the balance that needs to come in. And our masculine and feminine energies. And so some of us, we still need to work on our masculine energy being balanced out. But the Empress is creative. She's creating something. She's in tune with her wisdom. She's very uh, luxurious. She's very attractive. That energy. Some of us feeling more attractive lately. Clarify this judgment card. Some other people are seeing you like that as well. Judgment. Oh. The six of wands, judgment when it comes to like, oh, yes, yeah, some of you guys are getting victory. This is what's great. This is your birthright. This is what you deserve. This is what's coming towards you. Is in it cool? And it has to do with somebody it has to do with love. Remember, I kept seeing the lover's card. This is not the lover's card, but I kept seeing the lover's card as I was shuffling. But this is the two of cups. This is an um, like almost like an equal exchange of emotions being shared. This is the gift from the divine for some of you guys. This is what your that that I put the card up, but that energy that I was talking about about the spirit guide, your grandfather who is an ancestor, I mean, my ancestor, they leveled up. They're like an ascended master or a spirit guide who is leading you. Lead me into love by Anita Baker. Y'all know about that song. Listen to that. Oh, listen to that after this. Lead me into love. Oof. All right. Touch your plate. Woo! What you say? What you say? What you say? Ten of Pentacles. 
letting go of the past and watch that abundance fall on your ass. Not, I'm talking about not little dices of drips of rain. I'm talking about thunderstorm money on your ass right here. Balance too. A lot of balance coming through. This is a family dynamic. This is going to be like, this person feels like family to you. This person loves you more than your family. Ooh. This person loves you more than they, um, I was, okay. So first thing I was going to say, they love you more than your family loves you. And then the next thing I was going to come out of my mouth, but I stopped it. Um, they love you more than they love their family. But yeah. I don't know who this is for y'all. Wow. That's deep. But somebody is so confused and laws and options and this and that. I got to weigh this. What I got to do? Somebody, this has to do with this 10 of, uh, this ten of wands because somebody is getting ready to blow the horn on a situation that has kept them bound, scared, afraid, depressed, lost, stupid, angry, pissed. They're getting ready to blow. This is because it's caught something. They're about to let it fall. Let the tower fall. This could be you or somebody that's connected to you with this tower card. Somebody's getting ready to have a major tower moment so they can have the love and the happiness and the joy and everything that they desire and want and manifest it. What is the advice card for the divine feminine? What is the messages for the divine feminine? Messages for the divine feminine. Ooh. Oh, great, great, great. Great, 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 great. Ooh. So we have the hermit and the chariot. Move by yourself. Move with, no. This is Virgo and Cancerian energy. We got Virgo and Cancer energy. Some of you, some Virgo, Virgo, and, that, that means something to somebody. Virgo and Cancer. Virgo and Cancer. Be patient. Damn, wait a minute. Let me see. What is the advice card for? What is the advice? I'm sorry, for the uh, collective. I mean, for the divine feminine. What is the advice? Give me something to go with this uh, hermit in this chariot. Oh. Continue to align with your manifestation. And allow this this newness to come in this cycle. This is this something is cycling into your life. Man, if oh, this is damn y'all. Y'all got four major arcanas for the advice. Wait a minute, spirit. Give me these messages straight. No chaser. Everything that's coming pouring in for you is divinely for you. Don't question it. You deserve it all. Keep to you to listen to your guidance. Continue to push forward in your endeavors. Continue to love yourself. Continue to, like I said, establish those boundaries. Cautions you to not get angry. Do not let anyone make you angry. That affects your health drastically. Really bad. Don't let anybody get you angry. The magician in the will of fortune. Yeah, this is you needing to embrace this because a lot of you guys may be a little scared because there's a lot of moves that's going to be made, a lot of opportunities, a lot of for some of you guys travel is just a lot. Okay, so this is two different people. This could this is two different people. This is the masculine. The masculine is the hermit. They exude more um, her, uh, Virgo energy. Somebody could have Virgo very strongly in their chart or their Virgo. And then Cancer, the chariot card is Cancer energy. This is their, this is this is somebody's personality. This is somebody's energy. And then the magician. Here we go. The magician is um, the manifester. This is somebody's energy. Very spiritually uh, powerful. And then we have the Will of Fortune, which represents another person as well. Somebody who goes with the flow. All right. All right, let's pull you a couple more cards and then I'm done. Okay. 
All right, let's get these love cards out. I'm not going to go into, you know, long messages with the love cards. I'm just going to read them and that's it. What is the messages for the um, divine feminine? Messages for Damn. Okay. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Okay. What are the messages for the divine feminine? Ooh. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. All right, that's it. Okay. We have balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. The last card is manifesting miracles. You see that magician card came out. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow his guidance. The more that you believe that what's coming for you is for you and you don't question it and you don't, you don't be scared and you don't run from it, the, the quicker it comes. Okay. I love you guys. Peace. Take care. If you're interested in a personal reading, contact me. Okay. Love y'all. Peace.